Suppose I have some graph, and I want to walk through this graph. Well, what I mean by that is I want to start on some particular vertex, I go along an edge to a different vertex, I go along an edge to a different vertex, and so on. Now, there is a special name for certain types of ways that I can move through graphs like this. An Euler path is one that starts at a vertex, and it moves along through the graph where every edge is taken up exactly one time, not zero, not two times. Every edge in the entire graph is used exactly once. That is an Euler path. And an Euler circuit is the same idea, the same everything has to be hit once, but you start and finish at the exact same vertex. So it makes a loop, and then we call it an Euler circuit, instead of an Euler path that might start somewhere, go through and end up somewhere else. Let's see one example of this. Uh, let me start at the value of A here, I'll highlight it. I then walk down to C, I walk over to B, maybe I go back up to A, I go back down to B, I go down to D here, I go maybe, I don't know, back up to B. But then I have a problem, because while I have gone along and I've used up almost all of the edges exactly once, there's still one edge that's missing, this connection between D and C. But how do I get there? Because right now I'm hanging out over at B. And B's got every one of its five different edges that leaves from B is already being used. It's already gotten highlighted. I've done my Euler path and walked over them once already. So if I wanted to get down to D to C, I'd have to go over an edge I've already done. So in other words, I can't actually get there via an Euler path or an Euler circuit. So in this particular graph, at least the path that I chose, I wasn't able to go and do everything once. Now, you can pause the video if you like and see whether you can find some path that gets through here that does hit everything. But even if you don't get a path, and I didn't get one when I tried to do it, that maybe there's still somebody out there who's creative enough that could find one. So is it impossible? Well, it turns out it is impossible, and we're going to use a little theorem about Euler circuits. And the theorem says this. It says that if you have a graph with an Euler circuit, so one that starts at a vertex, goes around, gets back to the same place, and hits every edge once, well then, every vertex in that graph must have even degree. Why is that true? So I've given a little small portion of the graph. It's got a vertex and it's got edges leaving it. And this is not a graph by itself. It has a whole bunch of other vertices around there, but I'm just not showing them. I'm just going to zoom in on this one vertex. So imagine that I'm going through, I'm doing my Euler circuit, and I get to this particular vertex A. So I come in and maybe go along from the top left and I hit out this value of A. Okay, so I've got to the A, now I have to leave, so maybe I'll go out the bottom here. So I leave and then I go off and do a bunch of other stuff in the graph, who knows. But eventually, because I want to hit every one of these edges exactly one time, I'm going to have to come back in and I go in and get to A again. But now I'm standing on A. I've come in and I've gone out and I've come in again and now I'm on A and I can't get out. I'm trapped. If I want to leave A, I'd have to leave an edge that I've already covered. So I can't hit it exactly once. And indeed, whether it was three or five or seven doesn't matter. As long as you, you can come in and go out, come in, go out, come in, go out, any number of times that you want to do this even property, coming in, coming out. But if there's an odd number, at some point you're going to come in and you will be trapped and you will not be able to leave. And indeed, this is even true if A is your starting vertex, right? Let's say you start there, okay? Well, now you leave and come back, leave and come back, leave and come back. But if it's an odd number, eventually you have to leave and you will not be able to come back that the Euler circuit that has to return to its origin is not possible. By the way, if you have an Euler path where you have a starting and an ending vertex that are different, then the starting and the ending actually have to be odd because your first is not a go and come back, it's just a go. And then everything else is going to be a come back and go, come back and go, come back and go if you're that starting vertex. However, all the ones in the middle do have to have an even degree to be an Euler path. Now, I want to note that this is the statement of my theorem, it's an if-then, and the contrapositive of that particular statement is that if you have a graph with an odd degree, any vertex at all, if there's even one vertex with an odd degree, then it's impossible, then you do not have an Euler circuit. So let's use that to study the particular graph that we started with. Well, in this one, the degree of every one of these vertices is going to be odd. You only need one to break it, but every single one of them is bad. So indeed, for this particular graph, there is no possible Euler circuit that goes through it.
Nor is there an Euler path. Uh, two of the odd ones could become your starting and finishing ones, but all the rest would have had to be even, and they're all odd here. So no Euler paths, no Euler circuits. By the way, this theorem, this if-then, actually the converse of it is true. The, it's an if and only if theorem. That is, if you have a graph which has even degree, then it is possible to find an Euler circuit, although that argument is a little bit more sophisticated than I'm going to do in this video. Now, let's return to the original problem that motivated all this graph theory and got us starting back a little while ago. And that was to say that this particular graph that I have here, it came out from this Bridges of Königsberg problem, where I had this river and these two islands in the river and the two sides, and then the A, B, C, D, that those were going to be my vertices for the four different land masses. And I could cross over via the bridges, and that was going to go and make my graph. Now, the question was that Euler originally posed and launched all of this graph theory was, can you go through these seven bridges of Königsberg and travel them exactly once? And that's just asking, is it possible for you to have an Euler path or an Euler circuit that goes through these? And now we know that the answer is no, it is not possible because every one of these vertices is odd. It is not possible to have an Euler circuit.